Good morning. As with uh, last time, I'm just gonna have everybody stay muted until we're done with the meditation and then I'll, I'll allow uh, like unmuting just so people can keep coming in um, after we've started without having the capacity to interrupt. Um, hope you're all doing well, had a good weekend and survived if you're in New York, the like weird monsoon we had last night. Um, and um, if you are comfortable and so inclined, um, I'm gonna invite folks to take a moment again, if you'd like to get something like a, uh, a talit, a prayer shawl, be it a uh, scarf, a sweater, an actual talit, <laughs> um, or nothing at all, whatever you prefer. Um, just find the kind of um, the bodily feeling of having something over you like this uh, helps helps with centering for me, and I think for lots of people, um, and helps set this time apart from other times during the day. And so uh, we'll begin by centering ourselves in our bodies. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you do so, with morning brain and all that comes along with it, whether you've had your coffee or not, I already have, but I'm still a little foggy. Use this time and these breaths to bring yourself into your body. Next in breath through your nose, imagine the air moving in through your nasal passages, through your throat, filling up your lungs and the oxygen moving from your lungs to your bloodstream. Your blood coursing through your veins, through your body, carrying that oxygen down to your toes, up to the top of your head. through your arms, to your fingers, to all of your extremities. Now that you've brought your consciousness to your body, reminded yourself of even the most extreme points of it to your toes, your fingers, let's take a few moments to stretch our bodies, wake them up too. Take your arms and stretch them out to the side. As if you're trying to touch the walls on either sides of you, just can slowly move them above your head. If you feel any pain or any discomfort, just stop there and go back to where you felt before you were feeling the discomfort. You can slowly move your arms above your head. If you can, you can put your hands together. Reach up towards the ceiling gently. Be very gentle, it's early in the morning. And rock from side to side. Just a little bit, waking up your spine, your back. You can Slowly let your hands fall down to your sides, control just so you don't move anything too quickly. And now change your focus to your legs. If you're sitting in such a way where you can stretch your legs out in front of you, I invite you to do that. Maybe tilt your feet forward so you can stretch through to your toes. And again, be gentle. Don't push too hard. Don't bring yourself discomfort. 
Maybe roll your ankles very slowly. Maybe bring your knees up one at a time. You can feel that all through your legs and even into your lower back a little bit. Just centering yourself in your body. Now come back to your comfortable seated position. And as you feel all the different points of your body, the nerves, the air coursing through your lungs, the blood through your veins, recenter yourself with a few deep breaths in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And I invite you to send that attention that you've cultivated in your body up, up towards the sky. Imagine a ball of attention moving up through your body, up out of your head, going up and up and up. Have your, let your imagination show you what that might look like as it moves up. Not so much disconnecting from your body, but connecting you, all parts of you, into the world above. You can imagine this attention leaving, moving through your roof, leaving the building, going up and up and up into the sky, connecting you with the force of life, of energy that rains down from the sky, the sun. Reminding you of the way in which we are all connected through the atmosphere, through the gases that make up the protective shield around our planet through the rays of light that come down from the sun and from other astral bodies. You can imagine your attention going up and up and up, connecting you into that wider field that all things are connected to, all life, all plants, all animals. And allow yourself to feel as if this ball of attention creates a connecting line, a ray connecting you to all things above. To that space where our ancestors found God, found angels, where we find all kinds of different energies coming in from space, gases and moisture that reside above us, far above us, but also provide for the life we lead. Allow yourself to connect in with all that is above, all that you locate above. Now I'm going to invite you to, if you can, in your position comfortably, put your feet on the floor. Connect your feet to the ground below you, even if you're in a building high above the ground. Putting your feet on the floor, feeling the solidity of the floor. And now that you have connected yourself above, 
I invite you to turn your attention, that same ball of attention downwards, moving back through your body, checking back in to see how your muscles are feeling, if you're still in a position that's comfortable, if your body still feels connected to that inner you. And move that attention down through your legs, down to your feet. Feel that space where your feet connect with the ground. That point of connection where at some points may become hard to tell where your feet end, where your body ends and where the floor begins. Take a few deep breaths, really connecting in with that point of tension, that point where your body is held up by the floor. As you become familiar with the floor, the support it provides you, I want you to continue sending your attention downwards, down through the floor. With each breath, feeling it move further and further down, down to the ground beneath the earth. Continuing to send that attention downwards to wherever you may imagine it goes below the earth to the earth's core, whatever that looks like to you. Creating a strong ray of attachment between your body and the earth. And with each breath, you can imagine it going further and further down staying connected to your feet, to your legs. As it centers your body with the earth, breathe into that connection, feel it strengthen. You may, if you want, imagine this ray of connection, something like tree roots rooting you into the ground, drawing forth energy from the earth, connecting you deeply to all the life forms that make up the soil. Drawing forth comfort, strength, resilience from the earth below, it supports us, holds us up. While still drawing in connection and energy from above, that that is beyond us that we stretch towards as we stand upright. Now I invite you to take a few deep breaths and bring that ball of attention to your center, right to your middle, your solar plexus, and feel the way in which at this point of your middle you are the meeting place between the energies above and the energies below. That all that which resides above and below connects together within you in your center. And 
invite you to bring that attention back to your solar plexus. If you'd like, you can put your hand there, feel your breath coming in and out. Feel that you are this center place. Support coming from below, support coming from above. Being charged with energy from below and above. I invite you to think about what you may need right now, <clears throat> here and now, where you may need support within yourself, what challenges you are facing. What resources you require. And with each breath, imagine those resources pouring forth from above and below. Providing that support, that energy, that calm that you need to face whatever it is that is challenging you today. Only support and energy, only resources pouring into you from above and below, bringing you strength, bringing you calm. As you feel that strength and calm pervading through that ball of attention, it's now residing in your chest, in your solar plexus. I invite you to imagine that ball growing larger and larger, surrounding you, getting large enough to encompass your body, a sphere of attention all around you, strengthened by the energies from above and below. reaching out to the energies around you. What does your attention grab from around you? What do you feel around you that is also bringing you support and connection? In front of you, behind you, to your left, to your right. What energies, what people, what forces do you feel there bringing you positivity, supporting you? And in their own way, showing you that this ball of attention, this body does not stand on its own. They're all interconnected with all that surrounds us the barriers of individuality that we perceive and use to move throughout our day may be simple illusion. Atoms connected through empty space, making up our body and making up the air around us, full of more space than matter, connecting all of us together through that empty space connecting all of us to our environment and all things around us. We are never truly alone. We're all, we are all connected through that emptiness between the atoms through which the energy pervades, supports us, brings us strength.
now that we are situated in space, I invite you to step back in time, noticing the ancestors that led to your connection here, that created your existence here. You can step one generation back to your parents, maybe another to grandparents and great-grandparents. Imagine them lining up behind you, leading to you. Each of them having moved through the world, faced challenges, and brought you forward to this moment. Without them, there'd be no you. Without the challenges they face and overcome, there'd be no you. Know that they're still supporting you in the challenges that you face today. All the ancestors with your best intentions, your best wishes in mind that are here to support you, whose lives led to yours, are still with you. Now, if you have any living beings that you draw on from day to day as kin, might be other people, friends, or children, siblings, it might be plants that you care for or that you visit on your walks. It might be pets, beloved companions of different species. I invite you to imagine how they also add to your strength, your resilience, your energy. You connect with them and you stay connected with them. You bring them strength and resilience and they bring you strength and resilience. With each breath, imagine a connection from you to them. As if you are breathing back and forth to each other, providing each other that connection and strength Now that we've gathered the forces above us, the forces below us, forces before us in time and the forces that we encounter every day. Bring in the full feeling of gratitude, of thank you, thanking them, thanking all of the forces that allow us to continue to prosper to maintain strength, to continue our days and our lives and allow us to help others continue as well. If you'd like, you can say thank you out loud until you actually feel that deep gratitude welling from within. If you'd like, you can say it in Hebrew, toda or the way that we say in the morning prayer, Moda or Moda on me. I am grateful. As you presence this gratitude, I invite you to Bring yourself back to where we begin. Breathing back into your body, centering your attention in your toes and your fingers, all the way up your legs. Maybe reconnecting your feet to the ground, sitting up straight, feeling yourself back in your body, moving whatever way feels comfortable to you to bring your attention fully back to your body bringing with you that feeling of gratitude, 
gratitude for your body as well. Body that holds you and brings you through the world. As you center yourself in your body, you can begin opening your eyes if you'd like. Bring yourself back to the room. Good morning. Look at Tov. Shabua Tov. Good week. As we begin our new week together. <laughs>